There is two reset modes on Synology Disk Station. The first one only reset the network settings and the admin password. If this is what you want to do, I can explain you how to do it in the video on the upper right corner. In this video, I will show you how to do the second reset mode. This reset is so major that it will fully erase the operating system. It's therefore the most effective solution to bring the device back to its factory settings. So, to do this hard reset, that is also called mode 2 reset, you just have to look at the back of the device and find the reset button. It is not necessary to restart the device to do the operation since the disk station have to be fully booted to accept the command. Using a small object, press and hold the reset button for about 4 seconds until you hear then release the button and press it again immediately and hold it until the end of the third beep. Then wait 2-3 to three minutes while the system wipe itself and the system to restart. If you wanted to resell your NAS, you can now unplug it and give it to its new owner. To restart it, open a web page, I suggest Google Chrome, and connect to the IP address of your Synology disk station. If you don't know what it is, I can help you find it with an app called Thing, which I explain how to use in the video on the upper right corner. Or you can also connect to find.synology.com which should find your drive on your network. Once connected to the page, press the reinstall button and wait while everything is reinstalled. You will be then be prompt to enter some information to secure your disk station and connect to Quick Connect, if you wish. Basically, you will go through all the pages that you saw the first time you install your NAS, and you can reconfigure it as you wish. Above the data on the hard drives installed in the enclosure, they should remain intact. And yes, I said should. The reset only applied to the NAS, not the hard drive. So if you wanted to delete the data too, you will have to format the hard drives. But if you want to make sure that nothing is lost, it is always recommended to make a backup before during a reset on any product that contains important data. You should always have a copy of your data anyway. So, this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can find me back easily next time you need help. Now, if you have any question, please ask in the comment below. I read absolutely everything and I'll maybe even make a video just for you. Finally, that video was free, so yes, I accept donation. Thank you very much in advance. Take care and I hope to see you again, maybe on my main channel. See ya!